Hey there guys, I am Karu Karu, and welcome to another episode of Home Alone for the SNES. So Kevin is just yeah, sitting outside of the basement, just trying to will himself to go to the basement, trying to find the motivation he's going to need in order to go into the scary basement. I don't want to go down there, it's scary! Suck it up Kevin, we gotta go. So I collected all the stuff that we need to get back down here. And we gotta deal with all these angry spiders. These horrible, this horrible platforming. Oh, <coughs> excuse me. Er and try to make way back up to where we died. That was, uh... I didn't get this game anymore. This game makes no sense. Blech. Blech. One more for the... One more. Okay, that was a lot easier than I remembered it from the first time. And I, I, I seriously do not get why I cannot use my weapon right now. Like, it makes no sense. Like, this is the one time I would like to actually be able to use my weapon. Can I... Oh. There's a thing I can... I can drop on him. What is this, like, Super Mario? That one playing? Yeah. Yeah. Get away. Get away. Get away from me. Oh, that was stupid damage. No. Yeah. 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 Where's my bug poison? Can I just stand here and hit him and- Oh, he doesn't even come after me. He doesn't even come after me if I stand here in the corner. Oh, this is an exciting boss fight. Bonk. Oh, and he goes flying off. He goes flying off into the distance. Bye, spider. I, I, I don't get this. Like, it doesn't make any sense. I mean, are, they, are these spiders supposed to be here? Are they guarding the safe? We have an electronic swing. We have an we have we have an electronic swing. The McAllister family has an electronic swing. I don't even like. Is this whole wing just completely devoid to electronics? Well, we have the same generic room again. Who on earth organizes their house by what kind of things? This first we had the candelabra wing, with all the rings and the money bags, and then we had the toy wing, which had all the toys, and Mario was completely ecstatic about that, and now we're in the electronics wing, okay. Well, new area, I guess. See, like, I can jump on this table, no problem, but that one kitchen table, no, can't jump on it. Ugh. How do I, how do I... Oh, I get the thing to fall. I want that TV! Oh wow, this is an old computer! I've, I've actually forgotten that computers used to look like that. Way back in... When was this movie made again? This movie was made in... Oh! That's right. I was looking up the original movie so I would know what's going on in this game. This movie came out in 1990, and presumably this game came out shortly afterwards, maybe 1991, maybe even the same year. And when I realized that, it made me feel old. It's been almost 14 years since this movie came out. And it's still good, even by today's standards. Yeah, let's just drop all the electronics into the basement, they won't break. They, uh, they're still under warranty. I want this. Hi, ah, I didn't take damage. No, 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 no. You go hang out. You go die on. Excuse me? Excuse me? You're not gonna walk on the tax. So apparently, Marv is the only one that gets hurt by tax now. Or maybe they're nails, I don't know. So let's reset the level and just make a break for the door as quickly as we can. Pizza in the drawer, I guess someone was hungry. It was with the shoving. No one ever makes shoving like this. Hit my hand. Can I get myself a concussion? Can I end this game like this? Nice plaques on the wall, I wonder whose room this is. 
fairly empty room, too. Oh, that was dumb of me. Um, but iron up at the top, how do I get it? Is this the book room or VHS tapes? I mean, that would make sense. We are in the electronics wing. And you know, I kind of miss those old uh, VHS tapes. You know, you picked one up and... I don't know, it just it felt so solid. Especially those old Disney movie VHS covers where they had the whole thing and it kind of vaguely resembled a storybook. Anytime you got one of those for Christmas when you're a little kid, you just you just knew you were gonna see something magical. Not sure what the deal is with pizza. It's only it's changed its form. But, so what is this exactly? What is this exactly? This is the thing that gave me the superstar power up last time. Is it? Is it aftershave? I mean, I thought it was pop, but... Uh. Just, uh. Can I take it up upstairs with me? No, I cannot. So let's just... Rush the level. He dies. But it's not gonna matter because it's gonna reset anyways. At the very least, our carrying capacity has been increased. We can make fewer trips to... Garbage bin, at least. Oh, wow, that's just... I am terrible at platforming. Alright, free TV, and I did eventually figure out how to get up the stairs. It's the up button. Anything else up here? Nope. So basically, this is like the whole premise of this... This is the whole premise of the game. You go around your enormous house, you collect stuff, when you put in the save, you hide it away so that people don't, other people don't steal it. I mean, you know, thank god he's not calling the police. Or anything, because that, that would make sense. That would make total sense. Why doesn't anyone help poor Kevin? Oh, we got a Game Boy. Is there anything else? Can I leave now? Oh! Excuse me? Excuse me? Well, this I can at least duck under. What is this man doing here? Wait. Oh. Oh. He's throwing his hat at me. He's, he's throwing his hat at me. He's throwing his hat at me to kill me! Why is that his weapon? He's a gangster. Why is he not just hitting me with a bat or something? No. He's gonna throw his hat at me to try and kill me. I want that TV, so I guess we bounce up. Get it? Time to jump. There we go. I also remember how those old TVs used to be incredibly heavy, too. It was not easy to pick one up and move it. Alright, what's going on in this room? And they always collected dust like crazy. They're- oh. Oh. Um, switch weapon? Can I kill this man? Uh, baseball? Baseball? Baseball! 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 He cornered me! Well, no one's ever looked down on Marv. Mar Mar Actually, smart. For once. Oh, we, yeah, there's no point in me dropping this stuff off. We are far from our object capacity. Is it this room? Yeah, it's this room. Her. Is that a gun? There's a gun on top of a china cabinet. Is there a particular reason? Is there some way for me to get up there and grab it? Can I fire things at it? Can I break this? 
Like, how do I get up there? I want that. I want that BB gun. How do I get it? I don't have any more baseballs either, so I can't even try that. Well, I guess it doesn't matter. We have enough stuff. We can just make our way to the chute. We're pretty much done here. Very impressive stacking, considering that they're all coming down from a laundry chute. I really want to know how to get that gun, though. Like, how do I get that? I want that. And apparently the, uh... Is it baseball reset? Apparently not. Oh, whatever, let's go down to the basement. Let's find out what... New form of phantasmism is awaiting us in the McAllister household basement. Slash garbage chute slash dungeon slash death hole. You think that if they just put everything inside the safe to begin with, we wouldn't be having this problem? I mean, there's clearly enough stuff guarding the, the safe, but... No, they have to leave everything lying around. Oh. Okay, this at least makes some sense. It's a basement. There should be ghouls in here. Maybe, like, Kevin's just probably just, like, imagining all this stuff. He's dealing with his own personal trauma. Trying to deal with all this. Being stuck at home alone and there being thieves inside. Can be tripping ghosts. Look at this one ghost. Like, <clears throat> the way the ghosts are moving is a lot. It's very similar to a jumping action. So, they reach the apex of their jump, and then they start decelerating downwards. It almost looks like they're jumping on top of a trampoline. Okay, what are we gonna have for a boss fight? And yeah, is this gonna. Yeah, this is, this is gonna. This is going to. This is gonna drop on them. Oh, that was stupid damage. Come on. Ah! Oh, he changed his pattern. Okay, fine with that. Can they seriously not get you in uh, this far corner? Yeah. You can stand in this far left corner and they don't even hit you. Well, this is challenging. Roop. Bonk. Oh, okay, now he, now he decides to come over. Now he decides to come over and I'm dead. Thankfully I have more lives. And thankfully, this part's super easy. Let's, let's try not to take stupid damage here, at least. Save all of our hits for when we fight the Ghost of Christmas Past. Or maybe that's the Ghost of Christmas Future. Kevin, this is your fate to come. Run, run now. While you still have the chance. You can still escape your horrible fate. Bonk. Oh, okay, it does come over this far. Bonk. Okay, why? Okay, why? He was, like, not coming over the first time. And now he is. Okay, game. I'm not even gonna bother asking anymore. Bonk. Bonk. GG! I don't even know what it is that we're using to hit him with. I sort of imagine it's a giant um, oven pan or something. Like in the Japanese anim animes. And I don't even understand why that would even hurt him. He's incorporeal. He can just phase right through it. Ugh. With all these monsters in the basement, like, why does he even need to safeguard anything? He does again, I think it's too tough for this kid. That should teach those bozos, ha ha! Oh no, I've got our pets! Our dad says they're rare? Wait, excuse me? Excuse me with this? Oh... Oh no. I think I need to end the episode here. 
And in the next episode, I guess we're going to be a zookeeper and gather all the animals that are in our house. This should be called Home Alone, Home Alone the Exterminator. Oh dear. Well, until next time, thank you all so very much for watching. I hope you're having a fantastic day.